In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. <laughs> strings at all different angles with my fingers sometimes it's just the side or top or left or right I always taught you how to do it one way all the time I mean you can hit the string any way you need to as long as the sound comes out you're good and I just encourage everyone to write to Father Altman if you can he's got a, a virtual office you can write to him you can write to you know Father Mikel Rodriguez uh, so I encourage you to write to those men because or those priests because you know, we need to turn the body of Christ again and not be so separated. angels measuring things when I'm in this part. I just gotta thank the Blessed Virgin because they are shortening the days so we can get through this horrendous time with the abortion, the aborted babies. I, one of my prayers yesterday was that I just want to be a martyr for the sins of abortion because it's just so awful. I just, if I could, my heart would just drop dead because of the grief. Yeah, I don't know how it can be. My body can be sustained through this. Just the thought of abortion alone. It just is so awful. But, re but also remember there's forgiveness for those who repent. God never leaves anything wasted. Remember, your child's in heaven. And you can baptize your child. Just ask uh, Valentine Sydney, Sydney, sir. I baptize all the bored children every morning. So if your child's been boarded and you're repentful, well, even if you're not, that baby's been been baptized and is in heaven so rejoice and, and don't worry so much because if you repent you will see that child again for all eternity <laughs> should not be. That's where we got to fix the Catholic Church because it seems like the Protestants have more charity. I know in the Protestant churches there's a lot of people who talk openly about incest problems in their family. 
I don't talk about it. You never hear that in the Catholic Church. You never hear no, about the incest problems going on in the church. And nobody wants to talk or hear about uh, the, the priest is just like, be quiet, go away, or they'll push you out, you know, or abortion, all this stuff. They'll just blacklist you. And they'll try to push you into Protestantism, but don't do it, you know. You're still Catholic. <laughs> if you are Catholic, you're still a Catholic, so you can't just schism or go to SSPX just because of all these. You know, you're just stuck in a holding pattern like myself playing fiddle on the internet or something or doing whatever you do, your craft or just have patience, you know. But patience takes patience, you know. Patience is no joke. You know, patience is 120 years at, at most for a human, you know, because that's how long our life You'll see how long it's been for Jesus and Mary, you know. Patience of a practice, you know, like my teacher said, have you done it a million times? Have you had patience a million times yet? And that will just help. Have, but have you had that patience a million times? You know? Instead of a million times, we should say a billion times, because then you know you'll never do it that way until you'll never be perfect. So you never like think of your arrival point, and then you're just, well, I've arrived, or why? Ha it's been a million to five million, and, and I still haven't gotten it right. You know, you say a billion. Have you tried it yet? A billion times, a zillion times, no. <laughs> Thank you. 